So when when people assholes in particular, whose initials uh, may be S D, you know. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> when there's troll, when there when there are troll like figures working in the background, you know. Like, yeah, and rapping trolls, for DDR every night. Yeah, you know, working in the darkness underground, you know. <clears throat> Whispering in the ears, you know. And they say, you know, this guy's disrespecting you. He changed your translation, you know. And where do I, you know, I, I didn't get my chance to speak. I didn't get ch my chance to say, hey, I was, you know, hey, the fans love it and they thought it was cool. And, um, you know, it got voted game of the year and it, it broke the mold for, you know, for localizations and games, didn't it? I mean, it, is that just my memory? I, 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 don't, I don't remember seeing any good, uh, you know, really well done uh, localizations before that. Except Even now, Snatcher. people are, are saying they would still rather have that kind of translation for the future. Except games for Snatcher, than, yeah. Than the direct translations that are being done now with Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. It, it just feels. The language is stagnant. It well, just... l l let me ask you. I mean, you know, and, and, and this is the thing. I mean, the guy's got some of the most preposterous ideas. You, I mean, look, it's just my idea, but who the fuck is going to believe some, something about a guy with an arm that talks? I mean, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. Did I get too old or something? Is that not the stupidest fucking idea? Yeah, that kind of stroke I, a nerve here. And there know, for some so people. it's like, you know, may, maybe the guy should have just one person other than uh, a troll like Quasimodo to say to him, hey, you know what? You have this great game team, you know? Why don't you, instead of, you know, hijacking the game, you know, and taking advantage of these, you know, thousand people working to make a great visual, you know, game. Why don't you allow them to, you know, why don't you allow the story to be the vehicle for the game rather than make the gameplay a vehicle for your, you know, over-expository nonsense already, you know, grow up. That's what I would like to say. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, like, I just beat Metal Gear Solid 2 for maybe the third time. I... The story gets a little out of hand here and there. It's like every set, every cutscene, there's a new plot twist, and it was really overdone. It's like, why is it? It didn't have to happen like that. It's like they just threw it in there, just to have it in there, just to make things more complicated than they should be. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid 2 is is it's a it's an example of a good concept that wasn't executed as well as it could have been. The dialogue just doesn't keep up with what they were trying to oh, do. Oh man, the translation. You're talking about two. Yeah. Talking about two. Yeah, I don't even know. I've never even I've never even played it. Um. I mean, I, I was pretty bitter about the whole thing, you guys. I put a lot of emotional, um, I, I put a, a large investment of myself into into one, actually, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, the whole thing really bummed me out, you know, to not, to, not, to not get any more work from them, to all of a sudden, you know, be like persona non grata, you know? And like, so what, and it's like, what did I do to deserve that other than like, bust my ass to try to make the best product for the for the American audience which is what I was hired to do yeah, yeah. and I mean it, it came out everybody loved the translation I don't so well, there's just a lot of dialogue start, in it that you wouldn't start, see. start a letter campaign man I mean yeah. it, it bums me out you know because it it, it doesn't it's, it's not good for the uh, for the consumer right not good for the, it's not good for the industry I mean um, oh. You know the thing I don't understand about these games and the localization and, and all this is, um, for the most part, these game you know, the, especially in the old days, the the the, the Japanese game developers they they're writing to their own their own audience, right? So for them emotionally, once they you know reach their own audience, they they feel spent, you know, they they've done what they wanted to do, and so the best games where they're really talking to an audience, um, it's for a Japanese audience, right? Yeah. Um, so, but the idea that you've got this million, you know, this, you know, this game that costs tens of millions of dollars to make and it's going to earn, it's going to go to the U.S. and the U.K. and Canada and English-speaking countries, um, and that you're only going to spend two months translating it seems crazy to me. Well, they only spent the two months translating the European versions? Uh, n no, I think they spent more, you know, because on Metal Gear, they... I don't know what they did on two and three and four. I suspect they were a lot faster than than I did it. Yeah. No, nobody does a six month schedule for anything except maybe Square. You know. 
Oh, the yeah. guy who did translate Metal Gear Solid 2, though, was quoted as saying he thought it was one of the worst scripts he'd ever yeah. read. Yeah, he says oh, it was I, terrible. He's saying, I, he's saying exactly it, what you're saying. Wasn't it this woman Agnes or um, something? Was, yeah, Mark said it was a woman, too. I wasn't too sure. Agnes yeah. has Kaku or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, and I talked to her about it. She said it sucked. And I, you know, I mean, I think she's a real pro. She, she And let me tell you, she charges an arm and a leg, too. Wow, she must have. Um... She said the script sucked, and, and I wasn't surprised at all because, you know, I mean, his scripts suck, let me tell you. I, I've read good scripts. You want to know, good, want to know great? Uh, you asked me, I think, one of your questions, what was one of the best scripts? Yeah, best I, uh, translation to, you've worked on. Yeah. Well, I don't know about the translation. I'll leave that for you guys. But the, the story, the best stories I've gotten, um, probably two come to mind. Um, and they have the same initials, ironically. They're both SH2. Oh, Silent Hill 2 can... and Shadow and Shadow Shadow Hearts Covenant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everybody loves Shadow Hearts Covenant. I have yet to try Covenant. it. Yeah, let me to. tell you, that was a really what 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 a like you know, it was a gift of love from the creators. You know, you could just tell that they, and it was the same thing for for Silent Hill 2. These guys, you know, they would have made it for free. They really wanted to make it, you know. Yeah. And how different that is from the atmosphere of um, Silent Hill 3, for example. These guys were burnt out, and they were, you know, recycled to make another one. You know, and four wasn't even meant to be a silent. Four, I mean, I mean, you know, it depends on what you mean by that question. Well, you know. from from what I understand, it was supposed to be a guided, and not a full fledged silent hill. Not they a just guided. Threw the title like a, yeah, like room something something. It wasn't supposed to be a silent hill game originally. Something completely different. Well. Yeah, I mean that's like one of those yes and no questions because, yeah, I mean it was gonna, it was Silent Hill because it was like the same kind of you know part of the same teams working on it, um, and they were aware of the fact that it was, you know, they were making something intentionally that was Silent Hill but not Silent Hill. So, um, you know, on one level, yeah, they were intentionally making the non-Silent Hill. The Silent Hill team was making the non-Silent Hill. So, you know, yeah, it depends on what you mean. I mean. That kind of ties up all their Silent Hill questions we had to ask, like uh, about they the... didn't want to. They didn't want to. Um, they had just, you know, finished making three, and and they didn't want to overtax the license any further than it, they already had. Yeah. Then and a they, year afterwards, it... they dropped it not just on one platform, but on I think PC, Xbox, and PS2. What's going on with Silent Hill now? Um, I I don't. Uh, I haven't heard from the guys in a while, and I kind of. I kind of got the feeling. Yeah, I kind of get the feeling that I'm, I'm not going to be in the picture anymore. Uh, Silent Hill is... There's Silent Hill Origins that's coming out for PSP, which isn't done by Konami at all. It's done by Clim Climax Studios. And it's bouncing back and forth between two developers, and they're really kind of adding in the whole Resident Evil God of War context-sensitive button you know, once, once Once something becomes a movie, you know, it's like... Uh, yeah, speaking you know, of In a, a different realm. Yeah, speaking of movies, I mean, it's like, fuck you guys. That movie was a piece of shit. It was. I mean, I haven't yeah. even seen it. I can just tell immediately and, it and, was And horrible. this guy's got the nerve to criticize video game translations. He sucks. <laughs> well, what does he know about translating in the first place? He just goes on the internet, Googles video game memes, and sees Zero Wing and like, <laughs> oh, okay, well. Just... <laughs> he's talking about something that, you know, he's not even talking about something that happened 20 years ago. He's like talking about something that happened like 30 years ago. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is what game translation's like. It's like, you know, you, you set us up to bomb. He's quoting it, you know, irregularly, like, you know, oh, they, we, you know, they gave us the phone. Game translations. Like, Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. And it's Whatever. like, come it, on, dude. That movie really sucked, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, he kind of had, Roger Eger, he doesn't really have much of a career after uh, Pulp Fiction. They, Tarantino dumped his ass on the side of the curb, and he's doing a lot of crap work. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, I had a lot to do with uh, Silent Hill 2, um, especially, like, compared with my influence on um, Metal Gear Solid, um, I mean, I had a lot more influence on Silent Hill, Silent Hill series, a lot more, because I, I, uh, I, I directed the motion captures on those two, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I, I, I did everything from the auditions to, to everything, so I really had a lot of ability to choose which direction I was going with, with characters and stuff, you know. 